Welcome back. Now for your five-day weather forecast, we go outside to Caitlin DeCary. The sun is starting to break through the clouds today and it will last until the weekend. Here's a look at your next five days. Today we will high, have a high of 11 and a low of 4. Saturday will be sunny with a high of 12 and a low of 4. Ending off the weekend, we will see more sun with a high of 15 on Sunday and a low of 6. The sunny weather will end late Sunday afternoon as the clouds start to come in for Monday. Starting off next week, we'll have more rain with a high of 13 and a low of 8. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 12 and a low of 7. Enjoy the sunny weekend weather because early next week it will get rainy again. Back to the newsroom. Thanks, Caitlin. Rupert Murdoch's News of the World Corporation has agreed to pay $2 million to the family of murdered British schoolgirl Millie Dowler. News of the World hacked into the dead girl's voicemail after she disappeared in 2002 before she was found murdered. Murdoch will also donate over $1 million to charities chosen by the family. Elephants at the Toronto Zoo may be moving to a new home. This comes almost six months after the decision to close their exhibit. The zoo is t talking with several U.S. facilities, with one particular zoo looking hopeful. The zoo board wants to move Toka, Dika, and Iringa to an accredited zoo, although other facilities are also interested. At least 70 people are injured after a Hong Kong ferry crashed into a huge pillar this morning. The, the ferry was carrying 140 passengers and was headed for a Chinese business district. The Hong Kong government says most of the injuries are minor, but one woman in her 70s was airlifted to hospital with critical injuries. The Chinese toddler who was hit twice by a van has died. Footage of the incident was captured by a security camera and shown all over the world. The two-year-old died of organ and brain failure, despite attempts that were made to treat her injuries. The video shows people walking or cycling past as the girl laid in a pool of blood, only to be hit by a second van. And now with the sports news, here's Dino Pasalik. Hello and here's your sports update. The Humber Hawks men's baseball team is in New Brunswick for the CIBA National Championships. They're playing right now against Durham College. They'll play Carlton and Cape Breton tomorrow. Round two of the CCAA Golf Championships was rained out yesterday. The winners of the tournament are being determined today in Prince Edward Island. In Humber women's fastball, pitcher and outfielder Jessica O'Quinn and catcher Ashley Cosgrove have been named All-Stars. We'll find out this weekend if they can bring home another medal for Humber. The women's soccer team will defend their title at 3 tomorrow at Von Grove. They are five-time OCAA champs. The men's soccer team will also be there to play their quarterfinal game against Fleming. That one's at 5. In Hawks volleyball, the women are playing Canador today at 4.30 and Seneca at 8.30. Tomorrow they play Niagara with the finals following the game. Men's volleyball is in Durham today and tomorrow they compete in the Durham tournament. The women's rugby team is hoping to continue their domination of the league this year. They're traveling to Conestoga for their penultimate game of the season. While the men's rugby team is hoping to bounce back from their disappointing defeat last week to Seneca, they're headed to Mohawk tomorrow and we asked the players how they felt about the game. Uh, it's going to go alright as long as uh, we keep to our game, to our structure. I think we can take Mohawk pretty easy. Uh, I think we're going to win. We've uh, been practicing pretty hard this week and we're just going to put our loss behind us and take over this team. We have to like, win this game to make sure we're in second place because we got a bye week if we do win this game. Um, there's pretty much no doubt in my mind we'll win this game. I know it's cocky, but you got to be. The game starts tomorrow at 2.30. To see the schedule for all Humber Hawk games, please visit athletics.humber.ca. In Major League Baseball, the World Series continued last night as the Texas Rangers took on the St. Louis Cardinals. The Cards got on the board in the seventh inning, but the Rangers rallied back in the ninth, scoring two runs, and that was enough as the Rangers took it 2-1. to one. The series is now tied at ones. Game 3 is scheduled to kick off at 8 this Saturday in Arlington. In the NHL, the Toronto Maple Leafs visited Stanley Cup champs Boston Bruins. New Leaf David Steckel scored the first, but the Bruins would score six unanswered goals. Mikhail Grabowski got one back for the Leafs in the third, but 6-2 Bruins was the final. There were other Canadian teams in action last night as well, as the Pens beat the Habs 3-1. The Sens battered the Jets 4-1, while the Rangers beat the Calgary Flames 3-2 in overtime. The Oilers lost to the Wild 
two to one in the shootout, and the Canucks took care of the Preds. Five to one was the final in that one. In the NBA, after three days of negotiations, no agreement has been reached between NBA players and owners over a new collective bargaining agreement. A lockout seems more likely now, with ESPN reporting that it's fairly certain more games will be cut and possibly the season. Player union attorney Jeffrey Kessler said yesterday's meeting was hijacked by the owners. We were shocked, he said. We went in there trying to negotiate and they, they came in and they said you either accept 50-50 or we're done and we won't discuss anything else. That's it for sports. Now back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Dino. After the break, we'll get the latest in entertainment from Lisa Noreen. Coming up after the break, I'll have all your entertainment headlines. Imaginative gives art goers a new perspective. Former Oasis frontman will appear on a Canadian talent show. And the beloved Mr. Bean stars in a new movie hitting theaters today.